We found ourselves at the Inwin booth here at Computex um, for their 30th anniversary. They've kind of gone all out and um, what a display they've got on uh, for us. Uh, we're here with Justin um, for Inwin, who's going to be kind of coming down with us and onto the floor space and talking a bit more about some of the products and some of the, uh, the modded cases that they have here. All look fantastic. So, uh, Justin, thank you for joining us. And yeah, let's go check it out. Yep. So starting off here, we thought we were just going to be looking through sort of Inwin selection of stuff and we've come across something that we we're initially told might have been uh, Asus's, uh, but it actually seems that we found the uh, the brains uh, behind the uh, the statement. Essentially, it looks like it was actually made by uh, by Inwin, which is cool. Um, so yeah, Justin, can you tell us more about the development of this case? Yeah, indeed, it is actually made by Inwin. <laughs> they didn't want to tell you that, did you? No, we don't. no, it's fine. It's an open secret, but uh, it's it's uh, it's not something that we're going to be doing. It's not something we're going to be pushing. We co-designed it with Asus. It's a proprietary motherboard inside. Obviously, I think you've done more details with the Asus thing, but yeah, it's it's a fully modular thing. I think a lot of the features that we're going to have that, that are in it might be available in other chassis going forward, especially the modular PSU. Uh, it's something we're very excited about. We're very proud of it, actually. It's come out extremely well. No, for sure. It looks really, really good. And uh, certainly, I can understand that the, the kind of core concepts are things that are going to yep. filter into the rest of the product range, yep. which is uh, really nice. So the nice thing is, as well, for us, even though it says Republic of Gamers and it's all like, if you go on the back, it's a little in winter. No. Oh, perfect. So, so it's a bit, it's a bit hidden away, but the branding is still there. Still cool. There. This is something that you think, if you think about it, should have been done ages ago, and you realise, and you wonder why it hasn't been done. So, fans, right? Yep. Complete new concepts. So, oh. essentially, to cut to it, you daisy chain them. That's very clever. So, each fan is, has got an RGB controller in it, and it's also got a power controller in it. And it's run off of this thing here. If you can see it through the glass, it'll be on an X frame so you can see it in a bit more detail if you can't see it right now. But there's a, one controller box there, and that's your fan speed, or your, or your full fan controller, and your RGB controller. So essentially, one, ca one power cable connects to the front of the fan, and then it just daisy chains out. So. You can just put as many in serial as you want, and there's no, it terminates at the end fan, so there's no return cable needed to it, so you can just keep adding fans. So this machine here is running what? Three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen fans. <laughs> All off the one controller, essentially. All off the one controller. That's very smart. I mean, typically speaking, you kind of have all your fans yeah. in a line anyway exactly, with yeah. just all the cables going to the back so today to chain them there, there will be different types of cables we're looking at the moment of a flat cable at the moment it's just a round braided cable but the fact that the, the, the flat one should make it even even better and maybe even some solid ones as well if we know we're going to be in a daisy chain you know a close one but the, the real sexy bit ah so it's got its own yes in, independent controller yes yes now it's locked at the moment so we can't do it but yeah that just, uh, just all the effects, all the colours, uh, even the fan speed as well. So everything you, you, you can do through that, that's the that's the, the, the main one to part. That's brilliant. I can see that being very, very popular actually, especially with um, sort of people like ourselves, system builders implementing extra exactly, fans. Exactly, and it's not, it, it, there's, a, there's actually server applications for it too. If we, if we have a non-RGB one later in the, in the game, then it, it, we, we can offer it into that. I warn you now, they're not going to be cheap, but it's 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 an innovative product. It's it's actually worth it. They're not going to be priced too expensively, but they will be uh, sold as a pack to start with. So it'll be two because we we're, we're branding the, uh, the the lead strips as well. So a pack will have a controller, two lead strips, and maybe two or three fans. And then we'll have spare fans, and then we'll also have uh, extensions and spare cables to go with it as well. Okay, cool. And do you have a rough idea of what sort of uh, retail pricing these are going to come in at? Not at the moment, no, not at the moment. I, I've heard some pricing. Pricing is yet to be completely confirmed. So rather than say anything now, <laughs> get everybody excited. Yes, yeah. I'll wait until I've got something firm. Okay, cool. Be available fairly soon. All right, brilliant. No, these look good as well. Cool, yeah, cool. This is going to smash it. This is absolutely <laughs> yeah. going to smash it. No one has said a bad thing about this, which is amazing. Normally, somebody has yeah. an opinion, but no, nothing on this at all. Yeah. Um, steel construction to keep the cost down, um, but it's it's a blank canvas for us. Yeah. It, it it makes so much good use of space. It's it's a, it's amazing. The as you can see from here, again, tempered glass. So it's removable, nice little catch there, so it's a removable uh, uh, catch on there to... Sort of toolless release. Yeah, yeah. toolless. There's no inlet at the front, uh, there's no fan at the back, but really you don't need it. Yeah. And, and most people who are building it are actually forcing air in rather than taking it out. Because 
it, it, it actually exhausts to the side now. Now, you can put two 360mm rads in there, which this guy has, and you've still got room to put everything else in there too. So it's, you can put so much into that. And the retail on that is £85, including that. That's kind of a bit uh, mind-blowing, yeah, but we were sort of discussing it before yeah. and um, yeah, the minute we saw it we thought, wow, that looks like maybe sort of like a 150-200 pound case, looks really kind of quite revolutionary and sort of revolutionised and, and that generally comes with a higher price point, but for it to be sort of sub 100, even that 85 pound region is, is super good for, uh, for sort of like a, a mid-tier build, certainly. And that's the response we've had so far, so that's, that's really, really positive and really thank you guys for that. No, it looks great with all the water cooling as well. <laughs> so the 805 is out there already, this is the 805 Infinity and the amount of messages I get on Facebook, when is this coming out? Yeah, yeah. It, yeah it's coming out, don't worry. Is it? Yeah, it's coming out. Um, it's, the same, it's still the 805, so it's still the same chassis behind it, it's just a different front panel. So what they've done is an LED, you guys probably worked out how it works anyway, but there's an <laughs> LED strip all around it and then there's a mirror behind, cool. and then the, the front glass is then mirrored on the inside, so it just gives the infinity effect all the way through. And even on the logo as well, you can see it just sort of disappearing off into the, the yeah. background, that looks really nice. It's a really cool feature, isn't it? It's a really cool yeah, for sure, for sure. One of the girls took a picture of herself in it and the reflection, it looked like a, fa like a camera effect. Yeah, yeah. Really sort of like a vanity mirror sort of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, this is incredible, right? We're back to hand making now. Okay. So this is the x 2.0. So every year we release a signature product yep. and we normally release one. So it's the S-Frame and then the H-Tower, there's a tow before that. With it being our 30th anniversary, we're releasing three. Okay. So there's 250 pieces of each of these worldwide which will be made. Each one will be numbered, each one will be tracked. Um, these are available to order very, very soon. The main difference this time is that we're now actually including your power supply as well. Oh, right. And the power supplies are very, very special. I was about to say, this one looks to be, what, 1,065 watt, which is mad. I mean, a huge amount of power. Yeah, 92% rating as well on efficiency. Cool. And it's a nice little cool yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, features in it that uh, aren't available on anything else at the moment. Yeah, I was about to say, I don't think I've seen any other power supply with kind of transparent windows looking into the power supply. That looks awesome. And what do you think it's made of? Tempered glass, I take a shot in the dark. Yep, tempered oh, glass. Cool. But it's got a mirrored effect too, so when it's actually off, you can't see the internal, so it's like, a, it's like a, going back to the tow that we did last yeah, time. Yeah. But essentially, um, it's sandcast aluminium, so this is the X-Frame 2. So they are handmade now, so they have to physically form the molds, pour hot al uh, molten aluminium in, and then let it set. And it's the same for the feet, same for the base, and it's the same for the sides as well. So you can see the rough edges here. Oh yeah. yeah. And that's that's obviously yeah, yeah. you know the, the, the sound craft, crafted as yep. it were. Yep. yep. So these re all of these are going to retail for about a thousand pounds, including VAT. But they are even less restrictive than last time. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, 250 pieces worldwide. They're not going to go. They're not going to last. Yeah. But what you've got here on the power supplies is quite interesting. So you've, all, you've got an always on USB here. So as long as this, this switch is on, it doesn't matter whether the PC is shut down or not. So you can shut it down and you can always have that connected to a hub or something like that and it will always provide charge. So direct power from that USB port yes. at all times. Yes, yes. The really cool part though is this bit. I think you'll have to come around here, Nick. This is an extra rail which is a separate rail, okay? So now that PCs like this are always water-cooled, if you've got in a particularly long session, yeah. personally I leave my rig running a couple of minutes after just to let everything cool down. But some people will just shut it down straight away. So you come, you know, there's a bit of thermal shock that happens. Yeah. So what this does, you might have to come in close here, Nick. So you've got four, four settings, normal, 30 seconds, 180 and continuous. So whichever one you set it at, means that it will power the water pump after the PC is switched off. So it'll continue to cool it. It's a shame that the signature series, as I say, I think they would do really, really well if you were to offer them just on the sort of mass market. Anybody could pick them up, basically. Yeah, I think they would too, but uh, it, it's, it's part of the celebrations that we're doing this year that we're, we're offering out something special. And as I said, you can see the difference. They are the same unit, but obviously that's the D-frame one. Lovely. Yeah, yeah. X-frame and then H-frame, so they complement the units exactly. Oh, I really want one. 
<laughs> we'll see what we can do. Yeah. <laughs> We're also launching another range of power supplies. These are made by Aimwind, so they're not OEMs by anybody. So, so from the ground up, essentially, these yeah. are... So R&D was done by Aimwind. We produced it ourselves and we're selling it ourselves as well. So there's the Classic, there's the Force and the Premium. Okay. Um, they're going to be available around about August time. And the only pricing that we have so far is on the Premium. So it's going to be Platinum rated, Gold rated and Standard rated. But obviously the price will reflect that as well. And they're all retail. And they're all black, not desert colour this yeah, time, yeah. which is good. <laughs> Uh, but they all come with a five-year warranty, and it'll be a re re replacement warranty as well. So if one does fail, contact us at Inwin, and we'll sort you out no problem. Covered for five years. That's really good to know. Yeah, really good, really good. Solid, solid uh, warranty. Made of aluminium. These are the premiums, and all of them are modular, or fully yes. modular. Yeah, all the modular. Um, and these are coming to market first. Uh, so wrapped in aluminium. 92% rating on these as well, uh, together with uh, the, uh, the the signature ones. Uh, these are going to be the 750 is going to be about 139.99, and the 900 is going to be about 169.99. Very nice outer look, though, sort of super classy, not too much like um, over the top kind of yeah, color. They, they complement the chassis that they go into as yeah. well because we, we've had them into the 99s, and obviously the the modders, which I'll show you in a minute. I've uh, used them in the 509 modding competition as well, which they were really happy with them. Okay, so this first one is the China build. Apologies, I think someone so someone is not that uh, that cover off. Oh no, that's sort of invaluable replacement. I know, I know. But as you can see, they've been able to mod it sig significantly. Yeah. Some of the I've, I've taken it back to literally bare metal. Uh, they've, they've really done gone to town on them. Um, I like Justin's actually. Justin's is really good. The white unit here to the left of the. Uh, of the Chinese build, he's gone for a minimalist look, but he's also gone for the production. Uh, so he's sectioned off certain areas, he's added uh, little details that won't be too much, too hard to replicate in a manufacturing environment. Uh, but it's a very clean, it's a very uh, understated build, but it's, it works, works very well. Now we were taking a quick peek at that, I really like the sort of the, the window on the other side, yep. which shows off all the cable management, which is just absolutely brilliant, like, yeah, really, really neat. Yeah, the Australian one is mad. Yeah. <laughs> not, not necessarily one that's potentially repeatable in production, but um, yeah, still really cool. And then you've got the German one next to it, which is uh, the acrylic one. They were miles behind, unfortunately. It just didn't pan out for them. Uh, so. It, it doesn't. It, it, it's it, it's completed, but not to their standard that they wanted to complete it, which is unfortunate. But Functional, but not to the degree that they would they would have hoped, yeah, I guess. Indeed, yeah. Indeed, indeed. And then the next one is the UK one. Now, the the main part of the UK is this side, which is the uh, the backside. Oh, wow. 30th anniversary. That's that was that's hand cut out and hand filed, it's hand painted all of it. And there's a uh, another piece of aluminium behind it to give that that that, that depth. But uh, again, Dan and Dave have gone for a production option on that yeah. one. It looks factory. So, yeah. Yeah. So it's a very clean build inside. Clean. Very neat. <laughs> very, clean, very clean. Very neat. Very sellable. <laughs> potentially. Yeah. yeah potentially. Uh, and then the next night you've got the France uh, France option. Unfortunately, oh by the way, the UK team they finished with 12 seconds to spare. That's very close. Yeah. <laughs> Cutting it very fine. Four hours, 12 seconds left on the clock, and that wasn't planned. That was down to the wire. Down to the wire. So the French team have gone for a completely open case on this side. Um, I think it works actually. Uh, Olivier likes to apparently likes to have lots of open builds, and, and it works. It works a lot. So he's gone for um, almost like a production, but a theme show as well, theme theme type build. It's kind of a bit like a sort of hot rod car kind of thing with the yeah. uh, with the almost like a hood scoop sort yeah. of going on on the side, which is nice. Yeah. And then next we've got Team Mongoose. Uh, this has gone for the space one, so it's a Titanfall themed one. And if you can zoom into the screen, it's actually got a Titanfall looping, it's got a Titanfall intro looping. That looks awesome. Wow, really cool. Nice, you don't see many sort of little screens like LCD yeah. monitors in the front of the case. No. And there's, there's one on the Chinese one as well. But uh, yeah, it's, 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 it's like the next level in L LCD yeah. screens, isn't it? Uh, but the, this is all airbrushed. Again, it's a very clean build inside, very much like the UK one. Yeah. But this, uh, the, the art artistic quality yeah. is exceptional, absolutely exceptional. I can imagine with the sort of recent videos of sort of the potential of Titanfall 2 coming out, we might see more of this at sort of future events, or are in when going to be sort of holding on to it? These are all being held on to, so these will these will form, these will be in the showroom at the, uh, the factory, but they'll also be used for future events and stuff. Okay. 
then that's you no. Know, lastly, we've got the the, the next, uh, which is BS Mods. Um, again, hand built. They've gone for a medieval uh, option on it. The work that's gone into that is incredible. All of these uh, little serrations here, they were hand filed out. Oh, wow. It's a lot of time and energy put into like those little details. Yep, but they did it. They did it with uh, probably about half an hour to spare. Most of it went down to the wire, actually. Yeah. The, yeah, <laughs> there was no one that finished well ahead of time. Cool. That's good to know. At least you didn't set, make it too easy for them. At least everybody was sort of actually finding it a challenge, essentially. Oh, it, 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 it was really challenging. I mean, there's no air conditioning in the, in the factory <laughs> either. Well, Justin, um, we've seen all the new product from Inwin. Um, all the modded stuff looks brilliant as well. Um, is there more information on the modding on the Inwin forums? Uh, yes, there is. There's actually modding page if you go on there it's on the home page brilliant okay so it should be nice and easy uh, to, to find as it were yeah. yeah we'll put a link in the description for you as well of course we'll put a link in the description no well justin thank you very much it's been an absolute pleasure my pleasure as well really appreciate you showing us around okay thank you.